You can make this heading now. Like, you've noticed, by the way, I have left the heading unfinished. Let me try and explain what's going on, right? See this journey that we've been going on. This is the last few days, okay? We've met very, very simple equations, and then we've gradually made them more complicated. Now, I want to call your mind back to this analogy I gave you at the beginning. Chess. Solving equations is just like chess. You're trying to get the king, the king, by himself, and that's what it means to solve the equation, right? Just like in chess, you get the king by himself, and then you can win the game, okay? But there are lots of different kinds of pieces on the chessboard, just like there are lots of different ways we can introduce numbers and operations to sort of guard the king, right? Now, for instance, you might hopefully recognize, because I put some real effort into this one, right? This is a knight, okay? Now, knights are special because since they ride on horses, they can jump over other pieces, right? They don't care if pieces are in the way, they just go straight through them as if they weren't there, just like a horse can, okay? So when you're a chess player and you're learning how to work with these pieces and, you know, get rid of them, you need different strategies, right? So different kinds of numbers or operations are just like different pieces. So I'm gonna introduce a new one to you today. We're gonna to solve equations with brackets. Now, you've met brackets before. You've met brackets under order of operations, okay? So we're just going to work with them in the context of equations. Let's have a look at this first example. Okay, here's a question for you. This is actually the first question from the exercise. So I'm giving you this one for free, okay? This is what we're going to solve. And yes, it starts off easy. It will get more complicated later on. Okay, now what can we do with this? You've got your brackets. You should write down this question, all right? And what do we? What can we do with brackets, right? What? Well, yeah, Brandon. Uh, so you can order operations. Yep. First. Yeah, we do brackets first, right? When I get rid of these brackets, what's that called? It starts with an E. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of the brackets, what I usually call that is expanding. Do you remember that? Yes. Expanding. Oh, yeah. Is that like two X plus? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. So you remember this, right? So, what I want to do is get rid of my brackets. I'll just wait till everyone's ready. That's better. I'm expanding the brackets. I'm going to get rid of them like this. I've got this 2. It multiplies by the x, but it also multiplies by the 3. That's kind of what the brackets mean, right? Whatever this is doing, do it to everything in there, right? So 2 times x, how would I write that? 2x. Two, 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 two times 3, six. that's six. just 6. Okay. Now, once I've written that down, and nothing's happened to the right-hand side, once I've written that down, this looks just like the problems we looked at before. In fact, it's almost identical to number 2 that we did just a few minutes ago. So what might you suggest I do uh, to get closer to the answer? Six. I'll take away 6 from both sides. That'll be great. You take it away from here, that leaves you with 2x. You take it away from the right hand side, that leaves you with 2. two. two. One more line. What should I do to both sides? What operation? Nine. Morgan? Oh, minus. Ooh, Nine. almost. Nine. This is a 2 times, right? Divide. 2 times. So I should divide. I should yeah. divide both by 2. That gives me 1. Okay? Now, that's great. This is a, uh, a good general purpose strategy for solving any time you see brackets. Just like Brandon's suggestion with, um, with order of operations, brackets are like the first thing in order of operations. So expanding them is usually a safe way to go. However, I want to give you an extra tip, okay? I want you to write down this question again. You remember I showed you before, there's often many ways to solve a question. You can use different strategies or you can use the same strategies in different order. Sometimes some are better than others. So I want to look at this. I want to suggest something else we might do. Suppose I don't want to expand the brackets first. This might be a good idea because, do you see that both sides, right? Just like both sides here, right? both sides are multiplied by two. Do you see that? So from this line to this line, you divide it by two. Divide by two, divide by two. There's no reason I can't do that first. I can do that first, it's no problem, right? What will happen to the left-hand side when I divide this by two? This is um, two times, right? So that two times will get 
eliminated by this divided by 2. Right? Do it to the left, do it to the right. Okay? So here these 2's will cancel. Exactly right. Cancel, cancel. So on the left, I'll just get left with x plus 3. Okay? Now what happens on the right hand side? 8 divided by 2, 4. Okay? I only have one more step now. How do I get rid of that 3 on the left? I'll take away, right? Take away from the left and take away from the right, just like you expected. Okay, now remember we've seen before, lots of different ways to do this. Which do you think is better? What do you reckon? Yeah, number one. Okay, we can go for number one. I think there's good reasons you can say number one's a good idea because we know how to expand brackets and that's just like normal order of operations, okay? Who reckons number two? Ethan, what do you reckon? Why? Um, number two is probably better because if you're in a test where you've got a certain, only a certain amount of time, two is definitely quicker. Ah, now, this is true. I actually, if you just compare the lines, I, I know they're both pretty quick, right? But this is just ever so slightly quicker. And in fact, there's a good reason why. It's not just that it looks like that. When you expand, right? You see how I go two times, right? Oh, you have to. When you expand, numbers get bigger. Numbers get bigger, right? Like if this number was like 10 or 12 or something like that, all of these numbers would generally increase in size. So on this next line, I'm going to have bigger numbers. But when you divide, numbers do not get bigger. Numbers get smaller. They get easier to deal with, usually. Okay. So in this question, I mean, both are fine. Both end up at the right answer. I'll probably do this second one. Okay. I think it's going to get me the answer quicker. It's not like I have any fractions or anything like that. But I have both tools at my disposal. Okay. So let's just review. Okay. Expanding brackets, that's a safe option. It can always work. But sometimes, we can divide first and make this really, really simple for you. Like look how easy those numbers are. Okay?